Welcome to Create and Organize Group Folders. This video will cover how to create new group folders and add members, and best practices for how to organize group folders. First things first, what is a group folder? If we navigate to the Folders tab in Quip, you can see that there are three levels of folders, group folders, shared folders, and my documents. My Documents is where your private or personal folder lives, allowing each user a space to organize documents using their own personal system. Shared folders can be created by members and are great for cross-functional collaboration, such as an events committee. Now on to group folders, the reason we're all here. Group folders can only be created and managed by a Quip admin. Most companies will create a group folder for each individual team or department, as you can see laid out here for sales, marketing, engineering, etc. Let's navigate to the admin console and then to the group folders tab. This is where you will manage your group folders. To create a new group folder, go to new group folder in the top right. Name the folder here and then add members using their email addresses. Click Add Group Folder to create the folder. Here, you can see a list of all of the group folders that are set up. Click on the folder name to see folder details, such as who is a member and folder content. You can add an existing Quip member to the folder or provision a new Quip user who will be sent an invite to Quip and added to this group folder. To remove a member from a folder, click the down arrow and then remove. To view the folder contents within Quip, click View in Quip to see the folder content within Quip. Now that we know how to create and manage group folders, let's talk about the strategy behind setting them up. Different things work for different companies, depending on things like company size and how your team uses Quip. However, let's talk about the setup that we have found to be the most successful. Moving out of the admin console and back into the folders tab within Quip, we can see the three levels of folders, group, shared, and my documents. Shared folders and my documents can be managed by individual members, but group folders will be managed by you, the admin. We recommend setting up a group folder for each department of your company such as customer success and sales. Then, add everyone in the company to every folder. This makes it easy for the entire company to know where to find documents. Looking for a sales pitch? Check out the sales folder. As a subfolder in the sales folder, you can see there is a sales team folder that only the members of the sales team have access to. These subfolders can be created by you to get things started. But as they are not a group folder, they can also be managed by that team. This system is a great way for the company to stay organized and in the loop while also ensuring there are folders that can hold documents that only the right people have access to. Subfolders not only keep things organized, but they can act as a distribution list. If you need to share something with the entire SDR team, you can easily do that by adding the doc to the SDR folder. Today, we learned how to create and manage group folders, as well as a best practice for organizing group folders. You are now ready to kick things off with group folders. To keep learning all you can do as a Quip admin, continue to the next section in the Quip for Admin 101 learning path.